Hello, my name is Peter Stroger, and my guest today is Rob Garston from LinkedIn. He's the head of uh, sales development in Asia Pacific. That's correct. Welcome, Rob. Good to see you, Peter. Tell me, how does uh, lead generation happen at LinkedIn? So um, we, we have three teams kind of that, that look after leads. So marketing obviously generates them. Mm -hmm. um, my team qualify both inbound and outbound prospects, um, and then we pass them over to our sales team. So really three teams um, are, are around to be in, okay. involved to get to a prospect. All right, and, and how does it work? Talk us through the steps. Yeah, so um, our sales teams and marketing will work together um, to segment our customer base use our data mm -hmm. to make sure that we have the right message going to the right people. So LinkedIn uses LinkedIn? Yep, LinkedIn uses so, surprise. LinkedIn data. <laughs> I know. I think a lot of companies would, would envy the data that we have available to us. I bet. Um, but it's really to make sure that the products we have are the right fit for our customers and that we can be of help to them. Mm -hmm. um, so then marketing will generate the campaigns um, to the segment, to the customer base um, with the messages that will resonate the most with them. Um, that will obviously generate inquiries. Um, and we have a pretty sophisticated um, back-end software tool that's, uh, that we've developed um, that will filter out those leads that are most likely to convert, okay. so based on historical data. So at this point I want to ask you, how, yeah. how do you know what messages resonate? Do you, do you test those and, and, and do you use LinkedIn for that? Or what? It's a, so it's, it's a little bit of A-B testing with campaigns, right. it's a little bit of market research, um, so it's kind of a combination of everything. Mm -hmm. So we've got a Biz Analytics team that's segmented our market um, in terms of companies' propensity to buy. And then, of course, you look at within the companies who are the, the most relevant decision makers to contact and what message resonates with different decision makers. So, kind of standard marketing, really, you know, yeah. targeting the segmentation. Absolutely. Position, yeah. The, the yeah. I think the difference is just our richness of data and the sophistication that we put oh, behind it. And, 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 and I'm envious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so let's say marketing has identified the right target and, yep. then, and then you've, you've tested your messaging and you're getting the leads in. What happens then? Yeah, so the leads go through um, our filtering tool mm -hmm. um, to make sure that you know, with, with any campaign that can, can go viral, right? So you want to make sure that the leads that my team deal with um, are the highest value. Um, so our leads come in. Um, we qualify them for our sales teams and you know, if budget authority need timing is achieved, then my team will pass it over to the sales teams. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about it. Is that it? Ah, uh, I mean, well, in, a, in I mean, a nutshell. Yeah, because normally what you'd say and what I advocate in my book as well is, mm -hmm. is that there's feedback from the sales force then back to uh, sales. Yeah. Saying, yeah. you know, this works for us, this doesn't work for yeah. us. Yeah. So, sorry, I, I neglected that. That's, <laughs> that's to generate the prospect. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's really important. We, we have weekly meetings between sales and marketing. Weekly. Um, okay. Yeah, weekly. I think it could be fortnightly, but weekly works for us. Mm -hmm. um, because we do have so many campaigns and our data is so real time, uh, we are able to, you know, analyze campaign effectiveness pretty, pretty quickly. Um, and it enables us to either stop campaigns or to rejig who we're targeting or change the messaging. Mm -hmm. um, which, if you think about it, and, and uh, this is where my team uh, feels uh, either the pleasure or pain the most, is um, we, we have finite resources to qualify the leads. Of course. So we want to make sure that we have the highest quality prospects coming in. Um, and that's not something you want just to have a campaign out for months on end. and continue to get bad quality leads in. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to change messaging or targeting on the fly is really important. Okay, so, so that really means that you are listening to your sales force and the sales force actually has input into the marketing process and the messaging and so on so you can, you can, you can fine tune yep. in collaboration with each other. Yeah, yeah, and I think, you know, our marketing often starts quite high level so we'll target a pretty broad set of customers and then based on sales input, um, we'll work out that you know, this broad message only works for this segment of customers. Mm -hmm. We need to, you know, go two or three levels down for these different sets of customers. Okay, so we've talked about how we get the quality. Then in terms of the, the quantity, organizations I work with, they <clears throat> tend to get no more than 20% of their leads coming from marketing, mm -hmm. the rest is self-generated by the sales force. Yep. What, what, what's that like, LinkedIn? Um, it's, it's, real, it's, it's a little higher from marketing, um, it's, it's not, you know, it's not completely inverse, but yeah, it's, it's probably about 70, 30, 30% from okay. marketing. So above average, really? Yeah, above average. Okay. Yeah. And, and what's the conversion rate like? 
Um, the app marketing conversion rates are much higher than from outbound, um, which which is why marketing is such an important part of our business and why it sales invest so much time in making sure that there's good alignment. Fantastic, and, and that that was that's what makes uh, LinkedIn such a well known and uh, and successful brand. Yes, well, it's, it's I mean, really part, part it's of all new, isn't it? Part of it. Part of it. <laughs> part of it. No, no, all my colleagues around the world. All my colleagues around. It's the a world. team effort. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. Really appreciate your time. Great to talk to you, Peter.